This, guys, is the brand new GameStar X3 Pro. Now, what makes this difference compared to other um, Android or at least mobile controllers is the fact that this has a built-in fan and cooling system here on the device. As with all typical game stars, you can open it up and expand and install your, of course, your smartphone, but it also has more things. As I mentioned, you've got a fan here that runs around 4,000 RPMs and also lights up. So actually you go ahead and plug that in and show you. So you've got an RGB fan. It's got some noise to it, but also cools the device. This is the cooling surface for it. That is pretty big, especially if you're sitting down and playing for long gameplay sessions. This is absolutely fantastic. Now, the other aspect, of course, since it's a game star device is the adjustable uh, uh, USB-C connector height right here, which is nice. So you, it doesn't break or bend with your, um, your smartphone. You also have the USB Type-C pass-through here for charging your device. So this is for charging. This here is for the cooling, which is a bit cumbersome. Now, as we look around, you can see the D-pad, you can see the buttons, and you notice the buttons here are in a different order. This A, Y, X, B buttons. Now, this is because this is fully swappable. So I can go ahead, change my thumbsticks to longer thumbsticks, or actually just change the color placement, whichever thing I want to do which is nice. I can go ahead and change my D-pad, put in this D-pad here, see if I want to use something else. So I've got a very different D-pad and also just chuck my thumbstick down, but I'll just swap it back with this, this one here. So I've got a shorter one here, my D-pad, boom, swap that out. You can also put D-pad cover, uh, thumbstick covers here on each of the thumbsticks. So you can do that to give you more grip if it's not something you're looking for. And then you can also swap the buttons around. What's a bit hard to point out is that there are little grooves here which allow you to use a tool to pick up and take out the uh, different buttons. They are connected by magnets so you can go ahead and replace them. So I'm going to place them in the right order in a second here. As you can see, put an X here, put Y back in its original slot. Then of course A, and again, you can place it wherever you want to. And since they use magnets, it's pretty easy to just swap it, put it in, and boom, there you have it, which is pretty nice. So let's go ahead and test some games. Of course, uh, Game Pass will be the first, and then we'll try some Android games. So this will comfortably, comfortably fit your S22 Ultra. It comes to space. It's locked in properly. And you can press it. Now you've got access. You can see I can scroll through, jump into my game of choice. So I have my game of choice up and you're gonna notice that with the buttons, I do have A and B here because with GameStar for the Xbox gameplay, the A button is always on the right hand side and not below. So just uh, something for you guys to note, but it plays pretty well. Now, since this is, of course, Game Pass, um, you don't need the cooling since it's a streaming uh, directly. And of course, it's dependent on how good your internet connection is. I've got some lag because I use Optimum and it is downright terrible. So I'm hoping Fios eventually comes to this area because it is just bad. But you get the general idea of how it actually works. I'm using the taller thumbstick. Again, I can swap it out while playing. Swap the new thumbstick in and it works. So. You know, there's no issue in using the swappable nature or even adding the D-pad in, which I forgot, as you guys can clearly see there, and being able to use it effectively. So I do like that aspect about it, and that's pretty cool. So 
if we decide to say go ahead and check out another game let's see how it performs and then also let's plug in the cooling to see how cool it actually gets while we're doing this So the fan gets pretty loud um, while playing. That's just something to note. So get ready to use Bluetooth headphones or if you just want to crank up the volume, which that's what it sounds like. It's a bit muffled out because the speakers are basically crushed to the very back here. Now, in terms of um, Android gameplay, again, this is still a beta, so uh, not everything works as it should. I've got Call of Duty Mobile and here um, there is um, some functionality but uh, right now I don't have full mapping yet on this controller so once I get that I can easily map out the buttons quite well and then I can do whatever I need to do but you're gonna see here that it's one of those things where some things are auto mapped but of course, your triggers, your buttons, those things don't necessarily come out quite clearly on here. Okay, switching over. And you can see I've got some movement. But I've got two joysticks mapped to the same thing, so I can't move forward or back. I can shoot using the G button, which is incorrect. I should be using this. So right now, don't have it, but that should be updated hopefully with the GameSaw app. So what do I think of the GameSaw X3 Pro? I like the fact that it's got its own cooling system, which means you can go ahead and cool your device, especially for long uh, gameplay sessions. It's a bit bulkier and heavier, especially when you compare it to something like the Razer uh, Kishi V2, which I'll be dropping the video for you guys soon, so definitely go check that out. Uh, but I do like the fact that this is something that eventually could give you mapping capabilities for all the games you want, uh, as well as also the ability to cool your games down and it's also swappable buttons. I think this is pretty cool, makes it more customizable experience. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.